Hello and welcome to another edition of Methods of Regression Analysis. Today we're going to derive the least squares estimates for our simple linear regression model. Let's remind ourselves of the simple linear regression model. We have observations, xi, yi, there's n of them. And we postulate a linear fit between the x's and the y's, or some approximation there too, beta naught plus beta 1x is our estimate of predicted y as it were. And there's some error term left over, some residual between our fitted predicted y, beta naught plus beta 1x, and our actual observed y's. So how close is a particular line, beta 1x plus beta naught, to our actual data this is the predicted line for a particular x. This is the actual y that we observed corresponding to that x. So here we have the squared difference between those and adding those up. We have a squared error loss function, if you will. Just expanding that negative aside. So if we want to minimize this squared error loss, we differentiate relative to beta naught and beta 1. And we can find the best beta naught and beta 1 values that actually will minimize this. That will be our least squares estimate. It's the estimators of beta naught and beta 1 that minimize this squared error loss function, hence least squares. Okay, let's start with differentiating relative to beta naught. We'll see this actually simplifies the expressions quite a bit, so we'll start with that evaluated at the actual least squares estimates, beta naught and beta 1, we differentiate through when we set that equal to 0 is when we're going to get those least squares estimators. That sum going through, the sum of the yi's, the sum of the xi's, of course the sum of beta naught n times, just n times beta naught. So if we just move our n beta naught term to the other side and divide by n, we get our estimate. The sum of the yi's divided by n being y bar, and the sum of our xi's divided by n being the sample mean of the x's x bar. So if we have a least squares estimate beta 1 hat, we will immediately derive our beta naught hat from those based upon that. Note, let's just rewrite our least squares line now. So whatever the least squares line is, is beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat. But now we have beta naught hat as a function of beta 1 hat whenever we get that. So let's just substitute that in so we can understand what's going on. Rewriting a little bit. As a result of this, we see that when x is equal to x bar, then this term is going to be 0, and y is actually going to be equal to y bar. So the point x bar, y bar, is going to reside on our least squares line. The question now is, what's actually the slope of that line? We now have a point that's going to go through from elementary geometry. We remember that a point and a line are sufficient for uniquely identifying the line itself. Let's rewrite our least squares line then with this centered idea. This Now the xi's are going to be centered around x bar and the yi is going to be centered around y bar. And so we have a squared loss function relative to that, slightly different expression, so that we can focus on just estimating this beta 1 term. Slope is now the only unknown. Expanding that, we get this polynomial expanded out, easy enough, and now we need to differentiate that relative to beta 1 so that we can solve it. So here's our derivative of that polynomial, and we see here the xi minus x bar squares and the xi minus x bar, yi minus y bar. Notice that yi minus y bar squared term goes away with the derivative that was the constant term, because we're differentiating relative to beta naught. Simplifying this and moving expressions around, we want to get beta 1 all by itself, or beta 1 hat all by itself, and we divide through. So what we call this cross product term here, sometimes called SXY, it's got x terms and y terms that are summed together by their product, and SXX 
is this term right here. Notice the similarity between this and our sample variance, if you're familiar with that. The sample variance of the x's would be the sum of the xi minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1. So that gets in here as well. Uh, that's where we get this x, x, x. There we are. We have our least squares estimate of slope. We previously determined that if we knew the least squares estimate of slope, we could then derive from x bar and y bar the least squares estimator of the intercept. And there we have our least squares estimate for simple linear regression.